Welcome. In this video, I will walk you through how to use Lob's new View Component Library to add address autocomplete and verification to your project using Lob's APIs. It's based off of this blog post. I'll include a link in the description below, but let's get started. Uh, if you scroll down into the post, you'll see the first thing we need to do is actually create a brand new project from our terminal. So I'm going to copy this first line. I'll pop over my terminal and paste it, and I will create uh, my new project. Let's call this my lob uh, AV demo. And this is going to be a view project, regular view. And let's uh, CD lob AV demo, npm install. All right, that's looking good. And I also need to install Lob's view component here, so I'll copy that. Do a little npm install. And the last thing is we do npm run dev. All right, and now we're all good. We're on localhost 3000, so let's take a look at that real quick. And there we go. We've got our view three and Vite uh, app up and running. So let's see what we need to do next in our blog post. So I'll jump back over here. And now it talks about getting our API keys, uh, which I will do in a minute. But before I do that, I wanna get this first snippet of code. So I will go here and grab this first snippet and then we can talk about it real quick. Um, but I need to open up my project first. So let me uh, stop. I'll do code period to open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. I will go back and uh, relaunch my project. So we're good. And what I want to do is go into the source file, open up app.view, and let's expand that a little bit. And I'm going to select all of this and replace it with the code I just copied from the blog post. I'll save it, and you see we have a need for an API key. We're importing the address autocomplete, we're importing uh, this CSS uh, for styling our form, and it's just a very basic template. So what are, where do we get our API keys? Well, you can create a free account at lob.com. It's a free developer account. You get 300 address verifications per month free, so you can hit the API 300 times, no cost. And to get your API keys, you go under your name and go to settings, and then click on API keys. And you'll notice that we've got actually four different API keys. We've got a live key, a test key, and then two more live and test keys. These are secret API keys, the first two, and then the second pair is publishable API keys. Because we're doing this in JavaScript on the front end, we want to use our publishable keys, so I'm going to copy those. Um, all this means is that you can't send mail using these publishable keys. Uh, those are only available through your secret API keys, but we're just doing some uh, address autocomplete here. So I'm going to paste my key in there, hit save, and then I'll come back to my browser and take a look. And here we've got an input box, and I'm going to start typing an address. So 210 King Street, and I can choose uh, some city. I click on it, and there we are. I've got my, my autocomplete. But not really useful, well, a little useful, but you know, where did this data go? Where did this, this address go? So let's keep going with this tutorial. Uh, if I scroll down, I've got another chunk of code here. Now this is for people who want to do things with international addresses. So I'm going to copy this script here. I'm going to copy it. I'll come back here. I'm going to select it all, and I'm going to paste. And I still need my API key again, so I'll go back to lob and I'll grab it. Come back to my IDE, and again right here, I just pop in my API key. Now this is a, a little more complicated, but not a whole lot. All we're getting is this country information from a select dropdown for Mexico, Canada, France, and we're passing that country code in as a parameter to our address autocomplete 
component. We're also saying that uh, it is international and that's true. So I'm going to save that. I'll come back to my app and we see it's already refreshed for us. And if I choose Canada and I start typing in, I don't know, some address, uh, you can see we start getting addresses in Calgary. So we know we're in Canada and I can select one of those and assume I would want to do something with that address. So let's continue with this uh, blog post and this tutorial. So pretty basic. All right, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit further and now we want to add in address verification. So not only are we going to autocomplete, but we want to check to see is this an address that I can deliver mail to? Is it a valid address? So let's scroll down here. I will copy all of this and come back into my app.view, select all, paste, and again, got to get my lob key. So I'm going to go here and grab it again, come back to my app, and I need to find where do I put it? Well, right here is my lob API key. So I'm going to put that in there and save it. And in this situation, we're passing back this variable lob API key, and that's going to be used up here um, as well as when we do verification. So the key is being used in two places, both the address autocomplete and in the verify method. So it's getting a little more complicated. We have the address autocomplete, we have on input, on select, and a handling of submit when we click it. And we are gonna output the verification results below it. And if we scroll down here, we've got our three methods, handle input, handle select, and handle submit. And this is where we get that verification result that comes back from Lobs API. So it's passing in the address we've selected and it's doing a verification. That's about it. So I'm gonna save that and let's go back to our app that's running in the browser and we've got a new verify button. So I'm gonna put in an address that I know uh, is valid. So 2010 King Street, San Francisco, I select it and now I'll say verify and it says it's deliverable. Now let me try a different address. One that really should have a suite number or a, you know, in some situations you might need an apartment number. So I'm gonna select that address and let's click verify on that. And now it tells me that the, the, the deliverable um, unit is missing. So that's all interesting, but you know, I kind of want to know all the details about this verification result. So I could do a console log. Let's see the whole result. Let's try that again. One eighty five Berry Street. Let's verify and look at this data that comes back. We get back a component object that has the whole address verified, broken apart into individual elements like the prime the primary number, the street name, the state, the longitude and latitude, the um, zip code, the extra four digits you add onto your zip code, whether it's you know what its deliverability is. We even have a lob confidence score that tells us what confidence we have that this piece of mail will actually reach this uh, correct person because there might be a lot of different apartments or suites within a building and you know the confidence sco score starts to go down uh, if we don't have that extra information in there. So let's go ahead and close that and let's go back to our tutorial because we've got one more thing which is let's display this information in an address form right? So we're going to get not just the address autocomplete, but the whole form along with it. So I'm going to copy this and replace it here. I need my API key one more time. And let's find, here it is. It's right here in this data, this export default data. I'll paste it in there. And let's go back to our app to see how that looks. So there we go. Mm, not very pretty looking form, but let's try this. 
185 Berry Street in San Francisco. I'm going to click verify. It says, oops, it's missing a unit. Okay, well, let me add in Suite 6100 and let's verify that. Ah, now it says it's deliverable. So that's all I had to do there. Now I've got one more trick I'm going to show you. I'm going to actually make this form look a little bit prettier. I'm going to add a little bit of CSS in here. So, um, but before I do that, let's just walk through the code real quick. We're importing the address autocomplete and verify. We've got our API key. We're saying primary line only equals true. So that's sort of helping us do that verification. So it's judging that first line is only the first line. It's not try trying to verify the whole line. And it's taking in all these additional fields, the second line. And so when we add our suite, we are adding it to our address model for verification. And we're doing the same thing on the zip code. So if we change anything there, it'll get added. Here's our address object that we're defining. And then when we come in here, we're looking at this dot address. So this is what we're setting that selected value equal to, but then we can also update it uh, with these um, with these bindings here on these different input fields. So that's how it all gets wired together. And I imagine if it's deliverable, we then might wanna make a API call and save this address into our database or send a piece of mail or do something with this address, right? Uh, so one thing, let's go and do a little bit of styling. All right, so I've added a little bit of styling, a little CSS to our form. It's the exact same form, just a few little changes here and there. All right, so I'm gonna type in 185 Berry Street, San Francisco. I'm gonna select that and I'll verify. And it says that it's missing the unit. So if I put in suite 6100 and I verify again, now it says it's deliverable. And that's it. That's how you can add an address autocomplete and verification to your Vue.js app using this library and component. Uh, I'll link to the blog post and to this library in the description below. Uh, hope you enjoy this and happy coding.